Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Um, I wanted to come to you real quick and show you this <clears throat> this stuff right here. Um, I'm actually like right behind my house. My house you probably can't see it, but it's over there. It's not far. Um, the uh, this is like right where the woods start in my backyard, and I heard some knocking coming from over here like like several knocks like and I, at first I thought it may have been like a bird or some kind of animal doing something but it was just like too consistent and then I came out here and I found this cleared out area with this massive pine tree bent down and uh, I mean like I don't know how in the world this would have happened on its own like really um, it's still green at the top so uh, I mean it had to have been recent and um, it's just unreal this thing's huge I mean it is a massive pine tree that was bent over right here outside of my backyard and uh, there's like this whole area this whole spot right here is just pretty cleared out Let me get back here and see it better this whole spot I mean it's just real clear I mean it'd be like a perfect place to uh, sit and observe I guess but uh notice right here too there's a bunch of stuff stuck in the fork of that right there and uh I mean, I don't know what to make of that. I mean, it could be just stuff piling up right there. I don't know for sure, but it's hard to say. But there's a trail going that way. And I think, I know I made this one going this way, but coming into here, there's a trail. And it looks like there's a path leading out that way too. So I don't really know what to make of this. I mean, I... I don't know. I don't know why this tree would be bent down like that. And you can see this spot has nothing but coverage. I mean, it's like a very shaded area. There's like a, a canopy almost above it. So, I don't know, it'd be a good spot for a little shelter or somewhere just for them to come and chill, I guess. I don't know, it's crazy. This uh, this tree is just massive. And uh, it's really blowing my mind. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I would have not heard this happening. But, you know, it possibly could have been what I was hearing that night. That uh, in my, uh, when I was sitting on my porch that night and I went out and did the video further out because I thought it was further out but it really could have been this happening right here it is really really wild there's also this one down here underneath it I don't know but right here you can see this tree that's coming from it's like rooted right there but it's leaned up like that and this fork of it this big tree sitting right in the fork of it I don't know if that was meant to be that way or if it just curved over on it like that but uh, I don't really think they do things on accident too much now I really wanted to come over this way and check this out um, on this side over here get through here it's pretty dense back here except for that one little cleared out area right there but let me get back this way yeah right here another area that's cleared and this is right at the top of it now they very well could have been making like a little shelter right here it's very possible now that I'm looking at this and that's the top of the pine tree right there. 
and it's curved around over there so I know something didn't just like this didn't just randomly fall I know that it doesn't get curved around at the top let's see if I can go through here get a look at the top of it uh, let's see briars everywhere back here too that would keep people from coming over here I do believe okay now right here there's the right under it you can see right here where it's bent around that pine tree this is really cool so to give you a better idea all right the tree over there is bent down Coming this way, all the way down here, and it's going bending this way up to here, and it's anchored right here on this pine tree. That is crazy. Something did that. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. I don't think. Ugh. Bug flew in my ear, sorry. <laughs> Man, it's dense back here. Spider webs everywhere and all that. I'm trying to get a good look at this. You can see how it's bent down right there. Right there. It's coming up to this pine tree. Just like that. And this is the top. That's the end of it right there. So this is really neat. And I wonder if this is what I wasn't hearing that night. And if you look right here, I'm in another real cleared out spot. You can see there's nothing around this area. This is super neat. And it's literally in my backyard. I've never found anything like this in my yard. That's just incredible how something like this could happen, how it could get bent like that. I mean, this thing is massive. It would take like, I mean like 10, 200 pound dudes to even get it to lean probably. So, <laughs> I don't know. And this one is really blowing my mind. And it's strange because, you know, I saw that um, that other bent tree that was just massive like this, too. So, it's just really wild how this is happening around here now. But, yeah, I, I really wanted to show you guys this because I'm amazed. I mean, literally, I'm amazed. This took just brute strength to do something like this. I mean, like, it's incredible. A living pine tree bent down all the way. And it's anchored. That's not just coincidental or accidental or whatever. It's It was meant to be anchored there. Right there on that one. So crazy. Anyway, probably got a million ticks on me by now, but this whole area looks like somewhere they may just come and hang out, and uh, I have a koi pond, a fairly decent sized one that I made, right over, right over that direction, like probably about 100 feet away. So I don't know. And it's stocked. So I don't know if they've uh, been eating my koi or not, but <laughs> they might have. And the pond has been made with nothing but natural 
rainwater to fill it. I've never put any any type of uh, other water in it. The year I made it, it rained like hardcore all winter long, and uh, it was filled up in no time, naturally. Orb weavers everywhere. If you can see that one. He's shaking his web. Doesn't like me. Feelings mutual, dude. Oh, under here. Yeah. This place is just like super clear. Nothing is going to get back here easily except animals and spiders so <laughs> I don't know but you can see paths everywhere where it's like this I mean you can see it's just been like walked on like all over the place this is really neat I can even see a path going out right now and one going back that way So, anyway, I just wanted to wanted to show you guys this, those knocks I heard, I mean, it was like at least 10 of them or something, and I was just sitting on my porch and uh, heard them, and decided I'd come over here and see where they were coming from, and uh, I found that. But it was something hitting a piece of wood with another piece of wood. I can tell you that positively. I mean, there's, uh, there's no question that's what it was. And uh, I don't know. I, at first, I thought it might have been a person. But now that I'm seeing this, I'm thinking otherwise. Because uh, it sounded like something person would be doing but I believe it was a forest person doing it out here somewhere I wish they would have hung around let me, let me see them for a minute but anyway sorry I'm trying to navigate my way through these spiders and briars and whatnot So, let me see how long it took me to get from there to here again. So this is not an easily accessible area. Kind of have to fight your way through, but this is really, really crazy. And, you know, I'd gotten a bad, a whiff of a bad smell when I came up in here. I mean, it was like a... I don't know how to describe it really, almost like a dead animal type smell. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know, that kind of got me thinking too. But yeah, I wanted to show you guys this because it really uh, is impressive. So anyway, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. And I bet this is what I heard that night, that I was out on my porch and heard all that rustling and the, I mean, it literally sounded like someone pulling limbs out of trees is what it sounded like. And this would definitely make that noise. There's a lot of wood popping and cracking and just the sound of like big limbs being pulled through leaves or other ones so anyway i just wanted to show you guys this stuff people keep texting me i keep forgetting to turn the sound off on my phone when I'm recording sorry about that <laughs> so anyway um yeah let me know what you guys think about this because this is really blowing my mind all right thanks for watching everybody